Well, the floor is yours. Empiezo. Buenas tardes, oh. presidente. En primer lugar, quiero agradecer. Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to thank the COR for appointing me as rapporteur for such an important subject at a historic point in time. As the chair has said, we are now looking at changes that will be important for the future. The government of Andalusia has a very clear commitment to this. It's therefore been an honor for me to work on this first report. And our region is very sensitive because of its biodiversity, its strategic position, and its economy. With eight and a half million inhabitants, we have a great number of protected areas. We have biodiversity reservations that are recognized by UNESCO. And as such, sustainability is a priority. And we therefore need climate action, a green revolution, as we call it. Taking actions to combat climate change is vital, and I think all of us would agree on that. And that has to be even more the case with COVID-19. The Commission has set the goal of climate neutrality for the EU to meet the requirements of the Paris Agreement with net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. As regional and local authorities, I think we need to be supporting the European Union taking these steps to meet this global challenge. The European Commission also has put forward the Green Deal as a roadmap to a society with a much more sustainable way of life. The Green Deal and the climate legislation of the EU will be used to achieve climate neutrality. Having said that, all of this trajectory has to be achieved by leaving nobody behind in a fair fashion. Changes required to meet these goals will require sector-wide sector commitment and efforts. Therefore, the regions and sectors most affected require support. One of the keys to success will be involving citizens and making them stakeholders in change. If we want to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, it's important to underline the role of society. Ethical behavior and solidarity from citizens will help us to achieve this common European goal. If we're to act collectively, member states have to support the commitments that they have put forward in their national plans once those have been adopted by the Commission. It's vital that national trajectories are also accompanied by regional and local trajectories. Regional and local authorities are absolutely key to achieving climate neutrality. Our closeness to citizens and to the land mean that we play a vital role. In most cases, we have legislative and administrative powers, full powers. For example, in my region, in Andalusia, and in other Spanish regions and many other regions uh, that are represented here. We have many different situations and starting points across Europe. And that is why we have to ensure that all the information available at regional level is used in drawing up integrated energy and climate plans at national level. Local and regional efforts will be vital. But if we want to guarantee that our efforts are successful, we also have to ensure that climate neutrality as a goal is compatible with the economic development of our regions. The proposal sees the development of progress rolled out by the member states. At local and regional level, we will require greater coordination between local and regional and national authorities. It's therefore vital that the way in which we collect 
and treat data is homogeneous at all these levels. The opinion is trying to reflect all of the arguments that have been put forward on the, our opinion and underscores how important local and regional efforts will be. The members of this committee I know will be supporting this opinion and I'd like to thank them too for any amendments put forward to enrich the opinion. The opinion was adopted in the MPLEG committee with a great deal of consensus. Now we have 19 amendments that are going to be tabled and voted on. Now on those that were put forward in the MV committee and in plenary there are two that are particularly important and if I can briefly touch on those. On nuclear energy the position of each member of the COR is clear but above and beyond political positions we have to take into account what is laid down in the treaties. We therefore suggest a rapporteur's amendment where we take on board one of the amendments put forward and we recommend that we actually achieve the climate goal primarily through using renewable energies rather than greater use of nuclear energy. And if this recommendation goes forward then we will have less problems with nuclear waste. Then on the question of the trajectory put forward by the Commission through delegated acts, we have a rapporteur's amendment suggesting that the trajectory put forward by the Commission, but not necessarily via delegated acts. I have tried to reflect members' views as well as to ensure consistency in the text and I hope the amendments will enjoy the support of the majority of the members of the House in the vote. And thank you once again to members who have contributed and I do hope that this opinion of the committee on a subject that is so important for the regional and local authorities of Europe will be as full as possible and will be as broadly supported as possible. Thank you once again for having given me the opportunity to be a part of this very important piece of work. Thank you.